Okay, what we have here is a SMB0, and you can see it's a cutaway. Shows excellent example of the worm gear and how the it's a lost motion worm gear. How the lugs will come around and strike the worm gear. And the other side shows the worm shaft gear, tripper fingers, D clutch lever. Up here, you can see the D clutch link. How it moves the D clutch fork. Got the hand wheel gear, limit switches, and torque switch. But what I want to talk to you all about the spring pack gap. Again, from the cutaway, you can see you got a spring pack here. And at the end of the spring pack, you've got the adjusting collar. Okay, this adjusting collar, if it's loose, will show up as a gap in the spring pack. If I grab the face of the torque switch, I'm just going to grab the face of the torque switch. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Not hard, just a little bit. And you can see the spring pack shift back and forth. That's a huge gap. So what you want to do is you want to hand wheel it in the open direction so it's so the, the tendency is to pull the spring pack in. And then you're going to tighten up tighten up the adjusting collar. See how this gap gets that gap gets closer in. You see it moving. Right in here. And once it gets near snug, you can grab the face of the torque switch and move it back and forth. See we still have a gap. So I still need to tighten it up. A little more force. A little bit of a gap still. Not much, but it's a little bit there. Again, I'm going to hand wheel it open, suck it in. Push on a little bit. No gap. Okay? So you can see this on a cutaway with, uh, with the gap, but you don't have to have a cutaway. Remember, you can adjust that adjusting collar for the spring pack and hold this face of this torque switch. Just rotating it nice and easy and be able to take out a slop. See how there's no slop right now. Alright, that's it. Okay, let's talk about the D-clutch lever. D-clutch of the, of the aughts through threes and fours. You can see the D-clutch forks. Um, and D-clutch shaft from the link to the shaft to a spring the loading spring in the lever. And look, see how this spring is kind of loading it up here. So again, I can I'm gonna push down on the shaft. And you can see the It's in manual. I mean, it's in motor mode now. You can see the lug drives around and hits those forks. Oh, the tripper levers off the worm gear. And again, I'm going to declutch it. Give you a good, good picture of it. See how declutch link is pushing the fork until the declutch keys go up on sit on there. Those little gaps are a little bit different in length. If they were the same length as I rotated the worm shaft gear. It would never kick them off. So right now, see it's, see it's kicking that one off because it's not touching. So you've got to kick the other one off first. See now the other one, that one's kicked off. Now the, the link is going to come around and strike this one. Of course I gotta, can't do this with my cell phone in my hand. Okay. That's it. So you got to make sure the D-clutch keys are different lengths, and you can see why they would sit on that shoulder. If they were the same length, they would just go back and forth. Okay, I'm going to push on the D-clutch lever. I'm going to push down. D-clutch lever, D-clutch link pushes up on the D-clutch fork. See how it's pushing it up? 
Yeah. That's it.